This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. And we're going to get back to the phones here in just a moment, but just briefly on the Free State Project thing. Mark and myself have had the pleasure of being here for four years and, and really watching things grow and, and get all the more exciting over time. Jason Talley here now from the Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund. You've only been here for a you know, number of months. When did you right. make the arrival? Uh, so it was like after Liberty Forum of this year. So around and, March, yeah. uh, April range. Right. Then. And uh, I got to tell you, you know, I, before uh, moving here permanently, I traveled with uh, MotorhomeDiaries.com, traveled the country meeting with activists. But right now, I mean, I live in, in Free Grafton, which is a, a small town, but uh, – I mean, there's activists galore. I don't have to even leave my town for there to be really exciting activism and um, great people that I can support and who can support me. And yeah, so, there's some cool stuff going on, and people can go to freegrafton.com to find out what's happening in the Grafton area. But, I mean, you've really – you've come into a movement that has built up quite a bit over the last four years. I mean, I remember when we arrived here four years ago, people – one of the things that happens when people move into New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project is if they've got a moving truck full of stuff, people will show up at their house, provided they know in advance it's going to happen. So you make the announcement that you're going to show up, when you're going to show up, where you're going to be, uh, what time you need to be there. And all these activists will show up to help you unload your truck. Now, it's usually appropriate to bring some pizza and some beer or order some pizza and get some beer and you know reward them for their assistance. But so you can, too. That, that too. Uh, you can count on these people to show up. Now, back four years ago, people would have to come from all over the state to help somebody move in. Now there are enough people in every region that they can just come from regional areas to uh, to help somebody move in. And, I mean, the the amount of activists here has grown significantly. We've got hundreds of people that have made the move. Uh, and the sooner you can get here, the better off everybody's going to be. I mean, Jason, you've really hit the ground running. You've plugged in uh, to some of the activism up here. And you've started your own things, which I think is even better. Uh, the more self-starters we can get up here, the more people that are going to take a leadership role and get out there and just start creating or doing whatever it is they feel is missing from the movement is also very important. Well, that's the cool thing is that there really aren't, you know, leaders necessarily. It's just, you know, people helping other activists out. Like we all have our own comparative advantages. And so, you know, um, if people are going to do great activism, well, I want to be there to film it because it's going to, you know, be something great for Tally TV. Yeah, and I was actually telling you during one of the breaks that I think I think that Tally TV is really great uh, because not only is the content great, but the uh, the production values are great. Uh, but also, it's a nice midpoint, I think, between two of the other c- commonly seen productions here. Uh, Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. We talk a lot about some of the work that he does. He's a great boots-on-the-ground activist who's got his camera in a whole bunch of different stuff that's going on. But Dave Ridley can't be everywhere. And uh, Dave, the way he does his uh, shooting is he shoots basically in in camera. He edits in camera. He doesn't uh, move anything around. He doesn't lay in any audio. He just... Very low he production sh- values. Yeah, whatever he shoots. Now, he's a pro, by the oh, way. Yeah. I mean, he comes from a professional background. But he understands that what he wants, what his goal is, is to get those Quantity. reports out fast, to get them out immediately upon finishing the recording. And that's what he does. And he puts out something like six per week, I think. Uh, or maybe it's a little left. I'm not sure what his current rate Depends is. Depends on the week, probably. He's fairly busy. <laughs> he's got uh, got a lot of videos coming out. Tally.tv, not coming out with uh, videos as often, but more professional. Uh, like I said, background music, uh, nice pr- nice editing being done uh, on them. And then you've got the Obscure Truth Network. We've got Sam, who tends to host the show on Tuesday nights, coming out with things a little bit less often than uh, than Tally TV. Maybe longer presentations, uh, maybe a little bit more on the polished side. And, and we've even seen, seen Sam ramping up production a little bit, maybe Having more video producers here is going to fill in some of those gaps. Like, like I felt like there was a gap between uh, Dave Ridley and Sam, and I think Tally TV has kind of taken that uh, that gap. And then maybe we'll see an increase in production because there's some level of competition. Like, oh man, that Jason Tally, he's outdoing me on those videos. I need to step it up. I need to start working to get my uh, my stuff out sooner. I don't look at anything as competition, but I I do have a lot it's to a learn. It's a friendly competition. I, can it, it can, can you be. wait a minute now? Why not look at it as competitive? Because like. When FreeGrafton.com came out, I was fully in support of it. I talk about it on the air, but it's competition, man. You guys in Grafton are competing uh, with uh, with the folks in Keene to have an exciting activism movement that is worth talking about, that is worth reporting on, that is worth eyeballs coming to. And those eyeballs are going to make a decision at some point of... Well, I want to move to Grafton because I like Grafton Gulch and I like the uh, the civil disobedience that's happening there. Or I want to move to Keene because I like the you know the city and and some of the things that are going on there. Uh, or you know, Manchester, I know they're talking about doing something, but I think having different sites out there 
it is valuable because it it raises the bar for everybody. That's sure. not a bad thing, right? Well, no, I don't think it's a bad thing. I, I mean, but these are all different types of products. I mean, I have a lot to learn from Dave Ridley and uh, Sam sure. Dodson, uh, you know, about video production. Um, just like, uh, you know, we we took a lot of things from uh, Free Keen when we made uh, Free Grafton. But, you know, they're all different. I'm covering a different beat because I do live uh, up north in Grafton. So I have different stories that I can cover and... I have, you know, we're all different people, so we're going to cover things differently. We have, you know, different tastes in music or style. So, I mean, it just really reflects the different personalities that we have, I suppose. Tell me about uh, Grafton real quick. How many uh, people live in the uh, municipality known as Grafton? Well, that's a good question. Um, uh, there's a higher uh, density of liberty activists in Grafton than anywhere else, but that's just because it's a very small town. Um, there's probably like uh, 30 uh, people that would consider themselves free staters. Sounds about on par with with the population here in Keene, so definitely a higher yeah. uh, percentage. You cannot do this at the State House in Concord without hitting one of these guys. They're everywhere fighting for your freedom. The New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. You should join them so you can join the fight for liberty. And I should say, don't join them. Join us, because I am a member.